today I've got some pretty exciting movie news for you guys and Deadline reported that Paramount won the bid to distribute a Cleopatra movie and Gal Gadot has been cast in the lead role to play Cleopatra directed by Patty Jenkins who is reuniting with the Wonder Woman star to take on this role. Now when I first heard about this news I was really excited because just the other day I was in the middle of some spring cleaning and I just so happened to come across a Cleopatra book that I've had for several years and I just thought how perfectly timed was this to all come out. You know obviously whether or not you are familiar with this story on this important figure. It is obviously going to be set in Egypt and we will be seeing Gal Gadot in that region in the upcoming Murder on the Orient Express sequel, Death on the Nile. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that movie and also I have loved seeing Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman and I think she really portrayed that character very well and I also can't wait to see her once again when Wonder Woman 1984 comes to theaters but because of the pandemic you know it's all up in the air at this point when that movie will eventually get released but Gal Gadot is an Israeli actress and I feel like it is important to note that because if she's going to be playing Cleopatra who is similar to Wonder Woman based on her Greek heritage uh, instead of the misconception that she was Egyptian. I feel like some people might not like uh, that they didn't cast somebody of Greek descent. Because lately in Hollywood we have recently seen casting choices that have been mostly inclusive and on that issue I understand that representation matters but I also understand that you really want to respect the story and how this is all going to, you know, be portrayed on screen. So with a role like Cleopatra, which was famously portrayed by Elizabeth Taylor in 1963, there wasn't a huge controversy surrounding her casting and the movie itself won several Oscars. So now after all these years can Hollywood still make the story of Cleopatra actually work? We have seen what whitewashing has uh, done for several movies in Hollywood like Gods of Egypt which I was not a fan of whatsoever and even Exodus Gods and Kings which was directed by Ridley Scott and of course when you have an epic like that I mean hopefully for a movie like this new interpretation of Cleopatra, the story of Cleopatra, hopefully it's you know going to be told like this big epic story but hopefully not in the runtime of Ben-Hur. And audiences were not a fan of uh, you know those types of movies and how can anyone trust that a project like this can be any better. So not only will Patty Jenkins steer Gal Gadot in the right direction as Cleopatra and you know she is very good at directing you know a female lead. We have an example of Charlize Theron from Monster who also won an Oscar for that role. Now I'm not saying that you know we could expect this to be up for any awards consideration uh, but if the story is done well then it may just take home the gold. And Patty Jenkins is also bringing on board another woman to helm the script in Lyta Caligridis who has done similar work with movies like Alexander which starred Angelina Jolie, another contender for the role of Cleopatra. And Fortunately, Gal Gadot beat her to it and even though I feel like, yeah, she did actually look the part and it, a movie like Alexander might have suited her well even though her role was kind of strange, but I feel like uh, she would have definitely been one of my top picks. Not 
that I, I mean, I definitely love the idea of Gal Gadot playing Cleopatra, but I, th I think that a few years ago I would have picked Angelina Jolie for this role, but now I'm much happier that Gal Gadot uh, got this because she's been really popular lately. And then the movie of Alexander was under different direction and distribution from Sony with producers Amy Pascal and Scott Rudin. Paramount definitely got the better deal with this movie. And while that movie underperformed, here's hoping Caligridis gets a second chance to making this period drama work. Because there's nothing more important than a good script and talent in front of and behind the camera. I also found out that Lady Gaga was even up for the role, and coming off of a Star is Born award success, I can see why she was considered even though I never would have pictured her, and she was never my first choice to play Cleopatra, so I don't really know why they picked her. I mean, uh, I just think with the whole whitewashing controversy, I just feel like it isn't a role that suits her, to be honest. And the list of potential directors included James Cameron, Denis Villeneuve, and David Fincher. And I personally like the idea of all-female talent with Gal Gadot and Patty Jenkins involved. I feel like this movie could be a success. So depending on when this movie gets made and, you know, seeing what it could potentially look like, I, I feel like it could be a really well done, beautiful film and seeing the set pieces from the Wonder Woman set, I feel like Patty Jenkins could also equally do a good job with this period drama. Let's hope it lives up to the original Cleopatra movie. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this Cleopatra news. Do you like Gal Gadot in this role? Or if not, who would you have picked instead? And do you think this story can be done right? Let me know. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Child Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.